Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Check out our brand new app and get access to our new pharmacology and med surge mastery courses. Join for free. Click the link in our description below. All right guys, let's begin. Now for the immune drugs, we have immunosuppressants, given to help the body stop attacking itself. Like with clients in autoimmune diseases, where the body's own immune system is attacking normal organs. And immunosuppressants are also given with patients with organ transplant, so the body doesn't reject that new organ. Now, let the name help you here. Immunosuppressants are given to suppress that immune system, like putting those WBCs, those white blood cells, to sleep. The good news is the body stops attacking itself. But the bad news here is we get bone marrow suppression with immunosuppressants, meaning we have a big risk for infections and high risk for bleeding. Now, guys, please focus on those two things, the two biggest test tips I can give you for immunosuppressants, where the immune system is suppressed. Now, the first drug is hydroxychloroquine, given to treat lupus where the body's attacking its own skin and joints. So this drug helps to decrease inflammation and fatigue. So commonly, we'll see patients with increased energy when taking this drug. Now, it's taken for several months to reach that therapeutic level, so the benefits are not seen overnight. Now, the key point comes in the major adverse effects. Big-time retinal damage as well as vision problems. So we must teach patients for regular eye appointments. Every key number here, 6 to 12 months. Make sure to write that down. So the big memory trick we use here is hydroxychloroquine causes eye damage with that hydroxy. And just think chloroquine sounds like chlorine. So we got to check the eyes every single year for that retinal damage. Now the HESI mentioned in their question that teaching is effective when the client states, I need to see the optometrist at least once a year. Yes, technically this is correct because we have to see him every 6 to 12 months for those regular eye appointments. Now lastly, don't let the NCLEX trick you. There's no need for a medical alert bracelet, which is typical for seizure patients, and there's no need for osteoporosis vitamins like calcium and even vitamin D. Those were the two most commonly chosen distractors. Now our next immunosuppressant is methotrexate. Now this one is the drug to know for the NCLEX, as well as your exit exams. Mainly given for rheumatoid arthritis, as mentioned by Kaplan. This is where the body is attacking its own joints. And psoriasis, where the body is attacking its own skin, and even certain types of cancer to slow the growth of that cancer. Now, the mechanism of action is pretty simple. It stops folic acid metabolism, which stops cellular reproduction in the fastest replicating cells. Now, the bad news, like all immunosuppressants, the fastest replicating cells in the body are in the blood and immune system, as well as pregnant clients with a growing fetus. So we end up with a very weak immune system, leading to infections, low platelet count, leading to serious bleeding, and even fetal death with our pregnant clients. So the memory trick for methotrexate, we just call it methnotrexate. No pregnant clients, no crowds or live vaccines to avoid infection, and no razors or brushing teeth hard. Huge bleed risk with those low platelets. These are the big no-nos for methnotrexate. So the big key points for your exam come in terms of infection and bleeding risk. So infection risk, the big three are we report fever over the key number 100.3 Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. And secondly, we avoid crowds and sick people. And then lastly, we avoid fresh fruits as well as flowers. Now for thrombocytopenia, that's technically platelets under 100,000. So just remember, under 50 is very risky and under 150 is very iffy. So we monitor those platelets under 100,000. Some big key numbers there. So report bleeding in these various ways. So petechiae, that bleeding under the skin, purpa, or purple spots under the skin, 
as well as melana, that black tarry stool, could indicate a GI bleed, and even hematemesis, that vomiting of blood, and bleeding gums. So we must report these findings to the HCP immediately. Now, the HESI question that was asked for methotrexate, it suppresses B and T lymphocytes, basically meaning it suppresses white blood cells in the immune system. Now, the big teaching point here is we get flu and pneumonia vaccines that are, keyword, inactivated. So flu vaccines are not contraindicated. But what is contraindicated is live vaccines like herpes zoster. So no live vaccines. So don't be tricked, guys. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys. See you next time.